We're already on box number five of this Lincoln Penny Hunt and Album Fill series. Hey everyone, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure and it's hard to believe we're already on box number five, episode number five of this Lincoln Penny Hunt and Album Fill series. Now, if you haven't watched the first four episodes, I always have a link to the playlist starting from box one listed down below, and I'll even put a quick link up here. You might want to check those out to see the progress we've made before watching this video. Now, if you're already caught up, you'll know and remember that we have now completed 97 of the available 234 spots in this Lincoln Penny album. Not too bad. Four boxes down. 97 spots filled, and I do have a tube of ones that would go in the album if I chose lesser examples. Now, there are some lesser examples in here, like I've said, but as far as the copper cents, if they're tougher dates or ones I don't see in my normal boxes in my area, as often in red shape, then I put a filler in for now. Now that you're caught up on where we're at in the album, I'm gonna go ahead and close it up, and we're gonna get right to this hunt. Now, the first four boxes of this Hunt and Fill series have all been from Connecticut, and so is this box, as well as the next box. After the first six boxes, I'll have boxes from my local area or other parts of the country we'll have to see. Now, this is a bank sealed box, and I could see by the holes in the bottom that it's definitely circulated pennies, but I didn't see any fancy enders on the bottom. Let me clear this away, we'll bring this forward, and we'll take a look to see if we have any nice enders on the top side. All right, here we go. Box number five. Will we have anything cool showing itself on top? I do see a 60s copper scent, a 70s copper scent, maybe another 60s here. We have a newer Canadian scent, and we have another one of those shiny 60s somethings. Matter of fact, let me bring this out and see if it's another 61 or 62. That's a 68. So maybe we're gonna get into some different dates that are shiny. You'll recall in the last video, we had a whole bunch of BU scents towards the end of the box, and maybe we'll have some nice newer ones towards the beginning of this box. We'll have to see. Either way, I'm excited. I love this Hunt and Fill series. I'm gonna push the box back. As a reminder, I am using my Lincoln Penny Coin Hunts mat. If you'd like to get a mat like this or any one of my other mats, I do have a link to that site down below, and I'll put a convenient link up here as well. All right, super amped. Let's fill some more spots. Roll number one, the hunt begins now. Well, we're on roll 10, and we don't have a wheat scent yet, so maybe our Connecticut boxes are starting to cool down. But I bring you in because this is the one that had the 68 BU red ender, and when I flipped it around, we've got one on the other side. That's kind of crazy. I'll get in there and give you guys a look here in just a second. So roll 10 was kind of an odd roll and an awesome roll at the same time. That's the zinc sense. That's the regular copper. We had 14 1968s in beautiful shape from Philly. We had six 1969 Denvers, none of them the no FG, and a beautiful 73. 21 red cents in the same roll, crazy. Sure we'll find them album fillers in those three years for sure. Hopefully we see some more BU red ones in there as well and maybe a wheat scent because after 10 rolls, we have none. Roll number 12, we finally have our first wheat scent found of the box. 1950 Philadelphia, which I know we already have. Roll 15 is going to have a find. It's not a Canadian. That's why I'm showing it, but it's another foreign coin. And I believe this is a Belgium one. It is 1983, 50 cent teams. Can't get mad at that. We'll take it. Second foreign of the box. Roll number 22. We have a rare sighting. A wheat scent. Number two of the hunt. On pace for about four or five for the box. Hopefully it heats up. It's a 1945 Philly. I think we already have that one, but it's good to see another one regardless. Roll number 29, and we're going to have our third wheat scent of the box finally, and it's going to be a 1950S, and I think we're going to need that one, so I'll take it, and I'll tell you, we're still finding some of these 68s again and 69s. 
There's another 1968 beauty. This one looks like it's pretty nice. That's going to be a 69D, which I'll check for the no FG. And another 69D, which I'll check. So definitely getting back in to those beautiful red scents. Roll 30. Wheat scent number four. Back-to-back -back rolls with a wheat scent finally. 52 Denver. Roll number 35. Finally got to wheat scent number five. 1955 Denver, which I think we need. Roll 44. Wheat scent number six. Wheat scent six. The 1955 Philadelphia. If it was the DDO, it would be naked eye visible, but it looks like it might have that poor man's doubling on the five. We'll take a quick look. No, just the 1955 Philly, but like the Denver we found earlier, I don't think we have this one either. Could be another album spot filler. Roll 46 is going to be a two for one. First of the ones that we're going to find is a wheat scent, and it's going to be number seven of the hunt. 1956 D, which I'm pretty sure we have. And the other find is a Canadian. And believe it or not, it's only the fourth Canadian of the box to go along with seven wheat scents. Roll 48, wheat scent number eight. Looks like it's going to be a more newer one. And it is 57 D. Roll 50 is going to make us get to nine wheat scents. And I already saw it. It's just the 1944 it's from Corrosion, and we already have that one for sure. That's the oldest of the box. If somehow there's a 10th one in there, who would have thought we'd got 10 wheat cents out of a box that was super slow? Highly doubt it. Taking a quick peek, I don't see one, but I'll let you know if we get one. Well, that's going to do it for box five, and we didn't find the 10th wheat cent, but like I said in the previous clip, I never thought we would have got nine based on where we were at halfway through the box. Either way, we'll take the nine we got. I think there's a couple we need for the album. Oldest was a 1944 Philly, so nothing old in that box. I did keep three copper scents that were decent, but not what I would consider as nice as the ones over here. We got a ton of 68s, 69s. We even got a 64, 73, and a 74. And the light doesn't do them justice. They're fantastic looking. I'll pick the best ones for the album, but I'm going to roll up the other ones in my beautiful red scent rolls we did find a total of 659s four canadians we got that belgium coin and i'll tell you we had two beautiful but toned 68s maybe the enders of the roll i don't know maybe we got part of a full uncirculated roll dumped in here on top of that we did get a decent amount of copper not as much as we've been getting but then again not as many wheat since we've been getting and had we added all these if they were brown to that it would look a lot more full Either way, let me run through everything, see what we can add or upgrade to the album, and bring you back in with the wrap-up. All right, we have updated the album. I was able to add, actually, three wheat scents. We were able to add that 1950S to the album, and both the 55s, 55P and 55D. I also was able to add a few more of the more modern stuff, and I cooled down my roll of extras, because I had some duplicates in there and I was able to add a couple of those as well because I wanted to make sure I got the nicest ones that I have found so far. I mean, we added some stuff that definitely could use upgrading and we'll continue to look for upgrades, but what are you going to do? This is what we got right now and I can pop them out one more time if we get some more red scents, of course. At the end of the day, we are now sitting on 104 of the 234 spots filled. We added three wheat scents and four other scents. Seven total from that hunt. And despite it being box five and not having a ton of wheat scents, always good adding three more. On top of that, I get to add some beautiful BU red Lincoln scents made from copper to my copper BU rolls. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this Penny Hunt and Album Fill series. Five Connecticut State boxes down. One more Connecticut State Box hunt to go. I'll probably end up posting that tomorrow. If you are enjoying it, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting. And thanks for watching.